In back segment tonight, crime, guns, and sanity. Today on Capitol Hill, more hearings about gun control. A lot of blather, nothing urgent. We'll have the inside story with Rosen and Cameron of what went on in just a few moments. But here's something really interesting on the front page of the New York Times today. They actually ran an article that said despite Chicago's tough gun laws, the murder rate there continues to be out of control. Last year, more people were killed by Chicago gunfire than among coalition forces in Afghanistan. Can you believe it? 440 people, including as many as 57 children, gunned down in the streets. Now, the factor has been reporting about why this is all happening, but apparently we overlooked one thing. Now, there are contributing factors that are not under anybody's control and may, may seem odd, but it is factually true. One of them is actually the weather. There is a dramatic increase in gun violence when it is warmer, and we are having this climate change effect that is driving that. So global warming, partially responsible for the murder rate in Chicago. Good to know. Joining us now from Washington, Kate Obershane, a Republican strategist, and Kirsten Powers, a Democrat and Fox News analyst. So Powers, I thought it was a good sign. The New York Times actually going against their editorial policy and reporting on the gun madness in Chicago. And you say? Yeah, I think it's great, though. You know, the editorial page and the news page are not connected. They're completely separate things. Oh, well, so I didn't know I that. I, I, perhaps I <laughs> yeah, didn't know that because I, oh, in well, the last 10 years, you. there's been absolutely no <laughs> deviation. But I thank you no, for telling that me that. No, that is not true. <laughs> thank That's you. not true. The, there is no, they have a, a very, very strict wall between very the two. Very strict They're not the wall. same. I they see. do. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Okay, yeah. And, um, but yes, it is great that they reported on it. And I think they got into what one of the fundamental problems that's not discussed enough, which is, yes, Chicago, the city has these gun laws, but the state doesn't have the strict gun laws and the surrounding states don't state have strict does. gun laws, state which of, means, no, which no, means no, that no, you powers, can powers, go powers. right outside city limits and buy a gun. Power. State of Illinois has very, very strict <laughs> laws, but you're correct. Your point is correct that you can go outside of New York City, Washington, D.C., Chicago, and it's easier to buy a gun. But the problem is that's not going to change with any ban because there are already 300 million yeah, plus we guns agree on, that. on the street. Yes. Okay, so not going to change. Now, Gabby Giffords, the uh, former congresswoman from Arizona, was shot and, and terribly. Everybody feels bad for her. She testified on the Hill today. And when, as I said, Cameron and Rose got some inside stuff on that. But that was a very emotional uh, moment, Ms. Obershane. And, and, right. and she's appealing for much tighter gun laws. And you say to her? Right. Well, I say to her and uh, that it's a tragedy what happened to her, just as what happened in Newtown is, and that has to be acknowledged. But what is great about the New York Times article today is that they bro broke through sort of the swirl of emotion and actually pointed out the fact that these oppressive gun laws are not working, in part, not just because guns are available elsewhere, but because criminals do not buy guns from licensed gun owners. They're not just going across the border to buy guns. They buy guns from other criminals. They don't care what the gun they don't care where are. they come from, right? As long as they get a discount on them. Um, but as long as they can buy true. them, that's all they and care about. Just, Actually, Kirsten, it is true. That's where gun. Wait, that's wait, where wait, the wait. criminals no, buy the guns. I'm fascinated by, by Powers' take this evening, telling me that there's a separation <laughs> of church and state of the New York Times, which I find very amusing, and now telling me it's not true that criminals will buy they, guns from it, anywhere. Where, it, do you I, think that they no, have a certain? Not, do they have to have a little polo criminals, pony on a gun? Or criminals I, I, will buy guns anywhere, but they happen to buy a lot of guns uh, from gun stores. Yeah, so it, whatever's it's not, cheaper, whatever's not, closer. Okay, but the point is, like, the idea that they're just only sold on the black market is not true. In this well, New York that, Times article, they talk about 1,300 of the guns that were that they confiscated in Chicago came from one store outside of the city limits of Illinois. So that, don't that act point. like not having stricter gun laws outside the city wouldn't help so okay. Actually, oh, Kirsten, oh, right. actually what would help would be if we enforce the gun laws that were already on the books. If they are buying their guns from licensed gun dealers, they are lying on their criminal background checks, which we have seen that Joe Biden said, hey, we don't have time to check the criminal background checks. Well, you know what? That's why that's a law. These people would not be able to buy guns from unless licensed they, unless dealers. Unless they committed fraud on a thing, which brings that's me right. back to my point, which the New York Times did not address and the pinheads on Capitol Hill won't address. You've got to federalize all gun crimes. Then you have a uniformity in punishment. Then you send a message, hey, you buy a gun legally and you, you have a fraudulent uh, background check, mm -hmm. 10 years. Right. 10 years, 
That's, that's it. on the books. That's where you They're go. just not doing it. No, no, it's not on the books because every state has different laws and every state has different qualifications. If President Obama and a Democratic Party and the NRA, which says it wants to cut down on gun crime too, if all of these people were serious about it, they stopped the nonsensical stuff that doesn't work, and they would say, we're federalizing gun crimes. We're going to have very strict across state lines, which you can and can't take. And you get out of line, you violate the gun law, you're going to get a mandatory prison sentence. And believe me, that would cut it down way. But you didn't answer my question, uh, Kate, and I'm very disappointed. Gabby Giffords, oh, there right. she is. And how are we as Americans, if she wants stricter gun laws, shouldn't right. we rally to her cause? We should rally to the cause of genuine reforms that are actually going to cut down on gun violence. Taking away the right of law-abiding citizens to be able to protect themselves is not going to help. In fact, as we see in Chicago, it actually hurts. What it okay. does so you is make us a nation of you, predators you would, you versus would, defenseless victims. You would say you want the same thing that she wants, but you would debate her on how to get there. Is that Abs correct? Of course, we all want less okay. gun violence. We all just right. want reasonable reforms and enforce what we already have on the books. Powers, would you like to just tell me one more time how the New York Times hard news pages differ from their editorial? Just, I yeah. just, just There's one more. an editorial page and yes. they work in a separate area separate. and they write their editorials no, and then no, there are back reporters and, and they do not collude with each do other. Do not collude. That's a fact. Don't need okay. to. You can't, I, can you prove that they collude, Bill? No, I, you're absolutely right, Powers. <laughs> No. But can I just say one more yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, go. I completely agree with you on the federalizing. I'm Thank kind of you. almost about to faint, actually, because actually, I completely agree that that's what we need to do. Because my solution works. Ladies, thanks very much. We appreciate it.